this is Mike from Minimal 3DB and today I'm doing a quick video on calculating the max volumetric speed with Orca Slicer. So let's go ahead and get started. Before going over the test in Orca Slicer, it's important to realize and understand what the max volumetric speed setting is. One of the best definitions I found is actually over on rusa3d.com. And basically, they're describing the max volumetric speed setting as a manager to tell your slicer how much is the maximum amount of filament it can push through the hot end at one time. This is important because once you get past that limit, as we'll see in the test, your filament basically doesn't adhere, it doesn't come out right. You're not going to get a good looking print. So you want to find the best volumetric speed so that way you're pushing out as much filament as you can while at the same time maintaining that quality. So let's switch over to Work Slicer. As I covered previously, Work Slicer comes with a whole variety of calibration tools. So I have Work Slicer open here and I just want to go over the max volumetric speed. So I just go up here to calibration, more, and then max flow rate. Now, something you want to make note of with this little dialog is you want to make sure that you write down and capture whatever the start volumetric speed, the end volumetric speed, and the steps that are used. You'll need those later on as part of your calculations. Type in my starting volumetric speed and then my ending volumetric speed. I typically go to 30 or 35 if I'm using a if I'm using a volcano or other high speed hot end. If I'm using a regular hot end like V6, I'd probably just go to leave it at 20. I'm just going to change this to 30 because I am using what's supposed to be a high speed nozzle. And then I'm just going to hit OK. And as you can see, this generates a little model. And then I just send this model to the printer and I do monitor it as it's printing. I'll show you why here in a second. I monitor it because as it's getting to the faster speeds, it can no longer keep up. And you'll notice here that it basically falls apart, particularly here at the top. So this is where it's getting really fast. Uh, the nozzle and the extruder can't keep up with things. So well, with that being said, this gives me a good enough model I can use. And so I'm just going to start with my calipers. So let me get my calipers out and make some measurements here and then figure out for this printer what the max volumetric speed is. So with my calipers, what I'm doing is looking at these layers and then looking to see if I can tell where the quality really seems to suffer. It looks like maybe quality's good up until about this area here. What I'm going to do is zero out my calipers. Let's go a little lower. And I'm measuring. Let's go a little lower. There we go. 27.22. So that is. Measurement 27.23. What I've done is I have my clipper calibration spreadsheet. And I'll share a link for that. So I've made my measurement. And as we can see by the directions here, there are some equations fill in. And what I've done is I've gone to my clipper calibration spreadsheet, which I'll share a link to, and put a max volumetric speed. And so real quickly, I can do the calculation. So I measured 27.23. My start was 5. My step was 0.5. So my max flow value is 18.615. Now, according to the directions, I may want to reduce that by either 5 or 10% to be conservative. And so I put those calculations as well. So I'm going to copy this number 16.7535. And let's go over to Work a Slicer and plug that in. So I'm back in Work a Slicer. And then to fill in that value, I'm just going to go to the filament section, scroll down to the bottom. And here's where I put in my value. So the volumetric speed limitation, I'm going to do 
16 point, you can look at the number again, 7535, 16.7535. Hit save. And that is my max volumetric speed for this filament. Now, you probably want to run this test depending on which filaments you're using. I usually run it for PLA, PETG, and eventually I'll run it for ABS as well. Hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please post below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thanks. Have a good day. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.